It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. Part of sweet together, I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. Farewell, Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary. And my heart lies there. That's a song that was written back many years ago, and it was used. The soldiers in World War I used to sing that song or whistle that song. And it became an anthem and it's also the the 100 year centenary for all those people who died in world war one I. I salute thee heroes great people hard times great people and well done to peter jackson who's after making um getting the old footage and reconstructing it into color and slowing it down into the times and you actually get to see these people as everyday human beings with their facial expressions and they're going about their daily routines and you hear the oh. hard times we are very lucky to live in such areas that are free of that type of world some people are, are not so fortunate well i finally broke through and i don't know if you can see my fingers I'll dig away for another minute and yeah you can see fingers and dig it out okay as you see I dug a hole down there and it comes up on top and I have sticks put in top and we can light it from in here and the wind will go in and we'll have a look the whole idea of this fire type is based on a it's like the hobo stove they call it or the volcano kettle where the wind comes in gives it good strength and comes up from on top now they build they dig these also and they call they call them the dakota fire hole and you dig a square into the ground maybe 12 inches by 12 by 12 going down and a tunnel coming in look who it is that's not a rabbit burrow she thinks it's a rabbit burrow but no it's not and i'm actually have matches here today just to show that it doesn't always have to be the, the, the bow drill uh the flint or the, the fire steel just use a box of matches but do you know what? You just got to keep them dry. Hey, up out there. So we're going to put a match in and hopefully we will get it lighted. So we'll put the camera looking down from the top. And I can load that with sticks, as you can see. Plenty of dead sticks in this area. That's why I picked here. You get dirty when you do things in this world. And you know, most of us do dig a hole. If you know the expression, you gotta dig a hole. And we prepare to get dirty. As you see, the fire is coming up great. There's good uh, wind coming in under there. But I chose this site because it just be easier to dig on a bank. This place is loaded with roots, which can be hard to dig. So the air is coming in and uh, it's up there. And that's where I can put my pot. So let's do a bit of cooking. Because I put some ticker sticks near the top and kept crisscross, crisscross and crisscrossing them and cross crisscrossing them. I can just basically put my pot inside, but keep an eye on your pot that the sticks don't burn through, get weak, fall and fall. Because you'll only quench your fire. But there's fantastic heat coming up to there now and you can see it it's it's blazing i like that one of the best reasons for the dakota fire hole dakota and of course the natives of america dakota tribe named after them they've obviously came up with it geniuses but as you see with the air come in it's fuel efficient but this was also used in mili military times with um such feroc ferocity, ferocity I was going to say, ferocity coming in, you see there is just little 
it's clean spoke, burns it really strong. So by the time the smoke goes up, and especially when you're under a canopy of trees, it helps the smoke to break, so it keeps you pretty safe from the enemy. You wanna stay out of sight and stay clear. It's also a great way to cook and stay warm. Purifying water, cooking food, do whatever you want. Put your kettle on it, cup of tea, do whatever you want. Just try it anyway. It's brilliant. But always check the wind direction. Because if the wind is coming from this way, well then you get things uh, swirls and it just basically blows everything back in your face. But the wind is coming this way, as you see. So I take it to my advantage. Let's just cook. Spaghetti, and as you probably figured out by now, spaghetti bolognese. Pretty simple, but yet pretty effective and great for energy. Now what I gotta do is I want to drain the water from, I'm going to put it into my Crusader cup, give it a little wash out because I have something. And once I have that done, what I'll do is I'll give this a little rinse because it's barely manky. Spotta, spotless. And what I have here is a handful of rose hip. And rose hip is extremely extremely high in vitamin C and during the wars I sound like uh, you know who now from you know what during the war but anyway I probably look like him now you're gonna say but anyway how bad but it was during the wars that they used to send over rosehip syrup to the soldiers to keep up their vitamin C because a couple of even it's so high in vitamin C it, it's one of the top natural in the wild that you can find anywhere if you want to cut it open take all the little pit inside take it all out and you can like maybe eat it raw cut half to both ends or you can just mush it up and make it into a syrup strain and drink and keep, fight those winter blues those blues and those colds we're going to strain this we're going to go back cooking basically i'm just heating up to get rid of the excess water and then what I'm gonna do is oh man this actually looks gorgeous I'm gonna add it all together and look at that and I can use my improvised spatula just to clean that out and once I have that done give it all a stir and let it all Oh man, oh man, <laughs> I'm happy now. <sighs> I don't have a fork, so I'm just gonna improvise and just use two skewers and I don't even have a plate. But one thing I do have is an empty belly And a fantastic meal and man I'm going to enjoy this so if anybody wants to do a bit of cooking in the wild very easy mm. so I'm gonna sit back and relax and enjoy that meal I have my crusader cup there and I'm gonna adjust the, the width put it on I'm gonna file it down strain it put it back into my water bottle mix it all up and i can have my carry vitamin c that i can have try and keep me healthy which is gosh or look who cares i do <laughs> care about yourself as oscar wilde once said to love oneself is the beginning 
of a long life romance. So look after yourself, eat healthy, get exercise, get out in nature and enjoy yourself. Which brings me to the one last thing of this whole video of Bushcraft Master Chef. I love new ideas and if any, I'm looking for five people to come out into the woods with me, men and women. If you're interested in bushcraft or hiking and you've never tried it before, I'm looking for five volunteers to come out before Christmas to make a very special and brand new kind of video. Never ever, this is a new idea and we're going to develop it from there. We possibly might only make one video of this or we might make 100 videos of this. Who knows what the hell is going to happen in the future. But if you would like to be part of a video and the video will probably be 30 minutes to an hour long because the fact that we have five people will be uh, an extension of time. But please uh, message me on Facebook or call me on... <laughs> hate talking on the phone I'm a bit odd like that so that's why I usually don't give out my number but just text me and we'll come up with details and who knows I'll probably ring you anyway but sure yeah and contact me and let's just enjoy this meal and if you want to share this video um, I'd be more than delighted the more hits it gets the better thank you very much Shlan Lat Cora you're gonna come over and say goodbye Cora hello Oh, there she is. There she is. Come on, Cora. Hey. I left some food over there for her, so she's just eating that. Anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.